Hello and welcome to another powerful Genuine Healing Group SFT Tapping event. This one is called Saving Ukraine from Putin. There are two aspects to this. One is uh, saving Ukraine and the other is dealing with Putin. My name's Marvin Schneider. Jen, you are? I am Jen. Hi, I'm Jen Ward. And Marvin and I are getting tired of 8 billion people in the world and not enough people are stepping up into their empowerment to make a difference, to take down these autocrats who are creating suffering and misery in the world. We're sick of it, right, babies? We're sick of it. Sick of it, and we're going to deal with it. Um, in the past, we've done a lot of energy work in the background. Um, the better part of 8 billion people probably don't even know the work that's being done in the background, but it is being done, and it's being done probably in the most practical way possible, although a lot of people won't understand the energy work that's going on, they probably think it's all a bunch of foo-foo, you know, how can you possibly change world events just by uh, doing what we're doing? But it is um, it is about the only recourse available and we're doing the work. So the reason these dictators and these personalities get away with it, the reason why Putin gets away with it is because he, he manufactures himself being larger than life. And I just want to say to the man that get over yourself, Putin. You're not that big of a deal. You have a couple tricks, parlor tricks that you use on people and they're like, oh, and then you use the rest of your energy trying to diminish, demoralize and create suffering. Um, and Jen, we've been, what I was saying earlier is we've been doing uh, the energy work in the background nice and quietly and for the most part, you know, as much as powerful as the energy work is that we've been doing, we haven't really directly confronted a lot of these wannabe dictators, actual dictators, autocrats, power mongers, collectively, we call them the assholes. And um, the thing that occurred to us a little while back is that it is time to step up the game because the thing is that um, humanity deserves universal empowerment. Eight billion people on the planet deserve to be living in their empowerment, in perpetual joy, love, abundance, freedom, health, success. And there are a small number of people actively working to undermine the empowerment of eight billion people on the planet. And here's the thing. Humanity's providence and birthright is to experience um, universal empowerment. And so when we have a small number of people that, quite frankly, are fucking that up for 8 billion people, it's time to get real. And so we're stepping up to the plate. We've got our bazookas. We've got our, uh, we're swinging our bats. Putin, um, you're going to get called out today. We did Trump the other day. Putin, today it's your turn. Tomorrow, she, it's your turn. So Putin is uh, one man, a pathetic man, as it turns out, Um and uh, but the thing is that he can't exist without the sycophants and the you know power structures that sort of sit behind him. So here's how the equation works: um, Putin uh, betrays himself as the strong man, and through his kleptocracy, has created a group of people who, for whom he has, um, or the group of people around him have made a deal with the devil, the devil in this case, um, euphemistically being called Putin. And the deal is that Putin will provide the kleptocracy around which the people around him can um, <laughs> um, steal money. And, but, and, and so that's the relationship. And as soon as that is brought down, then he's got nothing left. Mm -hmm. This is my pet peeve. He is so pathetic in energy. He needs to call himself president. He hides behind the vibration of the word president. He is no way a president. He's a dictator. He's a cruel narcissist. He is not a president. There's a vibration to the word president that was pristine and reverence, and he's trying to glom on to that reverence. So anyone who calls him a president is actually agreeing to the bullshit that he's putting out there. Stop calling this narcissist a president. He's a dictator and he's pathetic. 
So, Jen, you're a shaman. You're a badass in energy. You know what you're talking about. And um, there's probably no one else on the planet that's capable to facilitate this significant shift in energy, yet here we are, we're doing it. So, uh, Putin, pay attention, all right? <laughs> You've been warned. So, so in my past lifetime as Madame Blavatsky, I was from Ukraine, right, Therese? Which? Dnipro. 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 Yeah. So this is, I'm not a shaman. For this particular thing, I am the shaman. It's one-on-one -on -one with me and Putin right now, but it's not. It's like the whole world is being empowered through this. So pay the freak attention because the cowering and unworthiness that people have been dealing with between all these autocrats is ending now. We're sick of this. And energetically it just needs to be addressed right on so that's what we're doing right now putin i don't want to be you you would not want to be you so deal with it all engrams and muscle memory of invasion i released from ukraine in all moments the vermin of putin's stink is flushed out of ukraine in all moments i just feel a, a sense of relief a release from relief for the Ukrainian people and that country and Zelensky. Ukraine's sovereignty and her borders are secured in all moments. All agreements nefarious politicians make with Putin are broken in all moments. All those with Stockholm syndrome for Putin wake the fuck up in all moments. All soldiers attacking Ukraine lay down their sword and shield in all moments. Putin is immediately stopped from holding the world hostage in all moments. All mouthpieces for Putin are choked on the bullshit they spew in all moments. This means you, Tucker. Putin is hung in an effigy of disgrace in all moments. Navalny receives justice for Putin's atrocities in all moments. Zelensky is centered and empowered in kicking Putin's ass in our moments. Um, that was quite the marathon. For yeah. those that are, yeah, for those that are watching um, from home that find this on YouTube or the Genuine Healing website, whichever way you find it, it doesn't really matter. But um, call to action here is to uh, find freedom fighters uh, in Ukraine and in Russia and those that are advocates for truth in those two theaters and share this video with them. And so, for example, um, I want to get this video to Bill Browder. So Bill Browder is an American. Um, he's, a, um, he's a financier and he is passionately interested in bringing to justice Putin and the oligarchs and all of that, those sycophants. Um, so if anyone knows how to get this video to Bill Browder and others, um, who are passionately interested in the freedom of Ukraine and uh, democracy and higher higher consciousness in Russia, get this video to them. Don't sit on the fence. Make it happen. Yeah, and to get it to some Russian people, some Ukrainian people, to those who are feeling so defeated by current events, give them this video so they can see it's not a lost cause. Hmm. Um, actually, let, let me extend that call to action. If anyone knows how to get this video to Zelensky, please do that. <laughs> that would be just so huge. And you know what? What I was seeing when we were doing some of those taps uh, about putting um, zest and zeal and fervor into the Ukrainian people, right? What I was seeing was the Ukrainian people, and particularly those defending Ukraine, just being energized to yeah. continue. And, you know, against all the odds and just prevail. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool. Yep. And that's actually, so that all those things you guys are seeing is actually what's happening in the energy. So I'm like in the, in the trenches with all these Ukrainian soldiers. And I just feel them getting filled up with hope and enthusiasm out of the blue. And that's the tapping we're doing now. We're actually taking energy that's been hoarded by, you know, nefarious intentions, Putin, and giving that energy back 
to the people. It's profound. <laughs>